All right, so down here I have the Castelfranco chicory growing. Very similar to Rodicchio, and it's not lettuce. All right, so I just want to make sure I'm clear on that right out the gate. We are not reviewing a lettuce. And there's something totally different. Okay, so this is chicory. And these chicories are generally, if you go to the food store, and you're looking on the vegetable shelf, and a lot of times you'll see those white heads, they're elongated, they're called chicory in the store. Generally, that is what this particular variety will look like when it, when it turns into a vegetable. And the only way you get those heads is you have to bury this plant with soil. As the leaf starts to come to the surface, you need to pile dirt up around it and just leave the very top leaf sticking out. And you keep doing that and that head will form underneath the soil. So that's how you get chicories to head. I didn't do it. I planted this too late in the year for me to even attempt to go into that route of actually growing the chicory the right way. But you can let your chicory grow just like this, like lettuce. And you can eat it pretty much like a lettuce, except it's not lettuce. Because it's very strong in flavor and it... Um, it's just not going to be eaten the same way as lettuce. So you got to be very sparing with it when you eat it. Or unless you got to acquire a taste for it, then that's different. It's already fall, and you can see I'm picking all the leaves out of it. And so this plant won't winter over, unfortunately, because I've grown this for a couple years, and this plant will die usually throughout the winter, especially if it's a hard winter, and it won't make it, unfortunately. So... Let's show you what the plant looks like. I can try to pick a good one here for it to show you. Now, this plant kind of shows a couple of different effects. Uh, sometimes the leaves will stay nice and green. And other times you're going to get, with this particular variety, you're going to get the speckling in the leaf. You see all those little specks? Like all up over here and all around that leaf like that. You'll get a nice speckling effect to it if you uh, grow it in direct sunlight and it's all by itself and you really take care of it. You'll get a really nice effect from it. Uh, this plant does form a head but not a head like a iceberg lettuce will. This plant forms a head like a romaine lettuce type of head. Something more or less like that. So that's how it heads, and yes, it will go to seed, but I've never really been too successful as getting seed from this, though I do like growing it, so eventually I will work on getting seed from this particular plant. That's why I don't offer it on my website. Let's uh, pick a leaf and try to describe the flavor for you. Uh, it, did I show you the plant? Did I show you what it looks like? But yeah, it's a very nice. It, it grows very well with the other plants. You can grow these pretty close together, too. The only problem with growing them close together is the slugs get in there and once the slugs get in there they can just absolutely destroy your crops. So here's a leaf. I think it's called Castelfranco. I believe that's a variety it's called. I'll put the right name in the description. I'm pretty confident that's the variety. I've been growing this variety now for about three years so I pretty much know them by name now i mean i've been growing it for so long so all right so let's uh turn you around and take a bite all right what's up guys it's a little on the cold side out here today it's not too bad right now but uh we're down in the upper 30s right now and it is chilly but i wanted to come out here and do a review on the costel franco chicory and kind of give you an idea on what it tastes like and what it looks like but it's what I got growing right now is not really the best example in the world because I have gotten these plants 18 inches tall just absolutely enormous they, they will get big and form a really huge head so you can grow them but for a winter look this is a give you a good idea on how you know what it tastes like and, and kind of what it looks like and everything so well here it is and let me take a bite and try to describe that flavor It's kind of hard to explain this. When you first take a bite on it and you start chewing it, it kind of tastes like lettuce a little bit. No funny thing, nothing funny about it. Then the after flavors start to come in. It kind of has an aftertaste of, 
if you've never eaten wormwood or Artemisia absinthium, if you've never eaten that, then it's going to be kind of hard for me to describe it to you. But it tastes a little bit of an aftertaste and effect like wormwood does. So it does have that effect to it. But it doesn't taste quite like absinth absinthium. I can't say some of these words today. Absinthium? Wormwood. We'll just call it wormwood for short. So it doesn't quite taste like that, but it does have that kind of a pungent type of effect to it after you chew it up. But it's not unpleasant. And this is the kind of a thing you can easily put in a salad. If you didn't have lettuce, you can easily eat this for lettuce. If you've ever eaten dandelion, or if you've ever eaten um, escarole, any one of those things kind of tastes like this and gives you the same kind of an effect just to give you an idea on what it would taste like. So it does fall into that category of flavor profile. Just so you know, if you buy it and you want to know how you're going to use it, you can easily put it in a salad. You can use it in other cookings like soups and things like that. You can stuff it inside turkeys if you're doing a turkey, thanks, you know, a turkey dinner for Thanksgiving. So you can use it in whatever creative way you want, but... It's not lettuce, just to make sure we're clear on that. It does have a flavor of its own. And it, it does have an effect like lettuce when you first start eating it. But eventually, that pungency starts to kick in. And you'll know that you're not eating lettuce. It's not bad. If you're somebody who likes to eat dandelions, for example, or you eat escarole, you won't have a problem with this at all. In fact, this is way more mild than dandelion and way more mild than escarole by, by a long shot. It's very mild in flavor, but it does have it. If I don't try to describe that to you, you're not going to understand what I'm saying. So that's it. That was just a quick review on the Castelfranco chicory. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.